with Snack A. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, right? Here we are at Twisted Wings, I'm giving them another chance here. They were one of the first establishments I ever went on Yelp and actually made a legitimate review on. And I was not very impressed at all. So here we are three years later. A lot of my friends call me a hater because of that. It's all good. We, we give people a second chance. Let's see how they are now. So right off the bat, I have to say, I had this for takeout and right here, the garlic Parmesan. It looks like with all the oil and everything, like when I had it, the box was just all, the sauce just went absolutely everywhere on these boxes, like right here. Like this was the Caribbean jerk one. That's what it ended up on. I had it perfectly, you know, like a normal person, straight up. I'm not sure what happened there. They also say all their wing combos come with celery sticks. Last I checked, these are carrots, but mind that, it's all good. So this is the Jamaican jerk, this is the garlic parmesan, and we got an extra order of mango habanero. One of these is blue cheese, the other is ranch, and the guy who does ketchup. So right off the bat, let's get right into a wing here. Okay, this is good, this is good. Not bad. So it did take us, they did make it fresh for us on the spot. It took about 10 to 12 minutes for us to get the food here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's probably pretty nice. I don't really taste um, the flavor is supposed to be garlic parmesan. In my review, I critiqued them how they always put the sauce at the end. It's not really like marinated on the ready. <clears throat> they have a batch ready. They always seem to put it at the end here. So that's why I didn't get one of the ridiculously three fire sauces because they just put it at the end. Try it with the dipping stuff. As you can see, these are all varying sizes here. It looks like this one's bigger. This is by far the smallest wing. People did have a lot of complaints online for the varying different sizes and it doesn't match up to the prices they're paying for. Okay, so yeah, that one's definitely ranch, the sauce. Too subtle of a taste here. We're gonna go into Jamaican jerk. Hopefully this one's a lot more. As you can see, there's a lot more sauce on this one. All right, you can actually smell sauce here. <clears throat> All right, so, so far, I don't see any red spots compared to like last time. So it looks like it's evenly cooked or fried. I'm gonna try with the blue cheese here. Let me know in the comments what you guys are, team blue cheese or team ranch. Honestly, I don't think either of the sauces are needed, but gotta get the full experience for you guys. Okay, this tastes better with the blue cheese. Let's see the consistency. Let's try one more of this. I like the sauce on it. They did say this was like about two fire levels, three being the max, so Jamaican jerk. <clears throat> I'm also pretty hungry, so that might be a factor, but you know. Got a nice kick to it, two, uh, two fires. The fries are, have been fried very nicely. It could use a little bit more salt though. 
But all in all, fries are pretty good. <clears throat> so yeah, this is definitely overpriced for what it is. You know, I'm trying to keep it as real as possible for you guys. I think it was like seven wing for like 1050 and then 12 was like it was like 1250 and then what we got the combo so the fries itself were like five dollars so that's how they try to get you i did get it for you know re the review purposes and everything okay the whole wing combo it was 2350 excuse me so i think 12 wings was like 17 and then the, the fries is like five and then they put in like a soda <clears throat> Feeling more of the heat now, now that the heat has been ha had time to activate. So yeah, the garlic parmesan, definitely don't get this one. This is by far the weakest thing here. Let, let's try a carrot or celery stick. Okay, it's been refrigerated. That, that's, a, that's a good sign. We ordered an extra sauce, mango half an hour here. So we're gonna use this, the weakest, the weaker wing. Dump it right in there. Hmm, that's nice. You could definitely taste the citrus from it. <clears throat> it's really fruity. Yeah, I would give this flavor probably like, in terms of the wing, it's overall solid, probably give it like a seven, but for this, this particular flavor in general, probably like a two, like two out of 10 is terrible. The Jamaican jerk here, I like it. Um, it definitely doesn't seem fried as well as this one, but there's no red spots. So this one I'll give the Jamaican jerk, probably give it like, 7.5, mango habanero, it's starting to kick now. <clears throat> it's starting to feel on my tongue, so it's definitely a legitimate flavor. It's probably the best flavor I've had out of these three here. I'll give this like an eight, you know, mango habanero. First experience when I was at Buffalo Wild Wings. The fries here, definitely could use a bit more salt, but it's solid, 7.5. So all in all, 2023. Twisted Wings, I guess they're still around for a reason. I wanted to check them out because there's been a lot of mixed reviews, even though they have like about really rated high, highly, like four plus stars. But then when you look at the low reviews, me amongst other people have said the discrepancy and the pricing and everything or what they do. I probably wouldn't get this again, but this is just for you guys. If what you guys liked what you saw, check them out for yourself, be my guess. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.